Fusion comes with an ever-growing plethora of tools, which are organized in categories. The categories and tools can be accessed by means of the bin system, the menus, or with the Add Tool script. Most tools in Fusion have the Common Controls tab. It contains some very convenient functions. For the sake of this demonstration, we have a slightly exaggerated color grading. Adjustments have been made to a variety of controls. To bring the overall strength of the tool down, use the Blend slider in the Common Controls tab. Checkboxes allow to select which channels the tool is active on. If a mask is connected to the tool, it can also be applied inverted. Or the tool can multiply the image with the mask, effectively modifying the alpha channel. If material or object IDs are available, these can be used as a mask for the tool as well. On tools that can introduce motion, like a transform for example, there is also a motion blur option in the common controls. Remember that even checkboxes like this can be animated to switch motion blur dynamically on or off. There are multiple ways to add tools to the flow. It can be done by means of the menu. Menu tabs can also be undocked, for example to have the particle tools handy. Another option is to right-click in the flow and select Add or Replace tool, which displays the same menu structure. Tools can also be dragged from the bin onto the flow or onto the display view. Open the bins by clicking on the bin icon or pressing CTRL-B. The same tool structure as in the menus is reflected in the bins. Drag a tool from the bin onto the display view to connect it automatically to the currently viewed tool. Once you are familiar with the tool's names in Fusion, probably the fastest way to add tools is to press CTRL-SPACE and simply type the name of the desired tool followed by return.